Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LEW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 96. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to run a very huge transaction, uh, which is which is going to take a huge transactional log space uh, with less active log space file system. So this is the problem scenario and solution. This slide talks about uh, problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how to run a very huge transaction or uh, a transaction which is consuming a very huge log space uh, with less active log space uh, in the active log uh, file system. So, uh, so for example, a huge transaction can 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 be of the tune like it, it takes up transactional log space of 250 GB. But the question is, do I really need 250 GB of active log space in the file system um, in the active log directory? The short answer is no. So we can uh, configure infinite logging. So how do you do that? So you can set the dbcfg parameter log second to minus one in a recoverable database. So you should already be in the archival logging mode. Then you can switch to infinite logging and you run the transaction. Uh, so the advantage is that the transactional log space need not come from the complete active log space uh, directory alone. So the uh, the database directory, right? Usually it is under SQL001, you will find uh, a directory where all the log files are stored. So that uh, disk or that partition or that file system need not have 250 GB. It can be even 10 GB. So you should still be able to run this uh, huge transaction. Now, why do we, there is a need for running such a huge transaction? Like, you know, why it is not doing frequent commits or is it some error? Like I'm not getting into those. Uh, this is more like, I'm not suggesting you to use infinite logging all the time, right? So in worst case scenario, you, so let's say there is time might be a constraint or something like that. So worst case scenario, you want to just move that transaction. Let it take 100 GB, let it take 200 GB. You don't need, you, you don't care. So, uh, but you are not able to do so because you are in, it, it will not allow you uh, in circular logging mode or in archival logging mode uh, if you do not provide the, that much amount of space in the active log directory, right? So in order to bypass that, you can use infinite logging, okay? So that is what I'm saying. So um, let's uh, look at an example as usual. So so here, this is um, connecting to the database dbase. Log arc method one is already set. So this is like, uh, so you need to do this. So that way it is uh, uh, archival logging enabled. Uh, then you set log second minus one. Uh, so which means that, uh, which means that you are, you are, you are configuring infinite logging. And uh, I'm just updated log primary to 10 and uh, have done the connect reset and I have backed up the database, it's all done. So connect to DBase and we can run DB2 plus C. Plus C means uh, non-committed, so it, it won't commit the transaction. So like this, I, I'll be running some 10 times or 15 times, I don't know, okay? So let me close this file. So here is the thing, so I'm gonna run this here, okay? Okay, so now you can see I'm starting with, this is my active log directory. So 238 to 247. So that many number of log files I have, right? So it, it is like 10, 10 log files are there in the active log directory, okay? So as I, as I increase, so as I run my uh, transaction, so this transaction is now consuming a lot of, a lot of transactional log space. So you can see that 12. So from 10, it became 12, right? But it should not indefinitely increase. So for example, it, it cannot take 10 GB, 20 GB like that. So you can see I have, I have run it so many times. So now it has reached 18. So 238 to 260, 238 to 260, okay. So uh, still it is going on, okay. So you, you'll see that actually, see here it is not increasing beyond 18. See, look at look at this total number of items. So even though my log files are getting added, added one after one after one after, it is not going beyond 18. There won't be more than 18 log files. See 262, 263, I, I, I think you are following. So 264, 265, 
266 so you can see that for example uh, see two after 245 see the 12 files are missing here so it's not actually missing it has archived and it has put in the uh, archive location right so so because it can't just keep on doing that right so that's what i mean so here all the log files will be there see until 265 continuous number of log files will be there you don't need to worry about it so but here i get only 18 items see so even though my transactional log space is i think we, we should have run transactional log space uh, to the tune of uh, i don't know so let me just uh, uh, show you that as well okay um, okay uh, so let me open another terminal su hyphen db2 inst1 db2 inst1 db2 pd hyphen db dbase hyphen transactions so you can see that yeah see here it is actually 118 mb i think yeah yeah i think it is using 118 mb of uh, of transactional log space but 118 mb but look at here it's only 72 mb and it will just um what do you say like it won't go beyond that 18 i think yeah see i'm running again okay it's taking a bit of time I think it's yeah so uh, let us run it one more time so you can say 134 MB of transactional log space but here you'll find only 18 so 72 MB only right so even though so so you can you can go on like this okay so uh, even if your transaction is taking up 10 GB I, I still need only I mean I I I'll have only 72 MB, 18 log files here, right? So in, in our case, so in your case, it might be a bit different. I think it is uh, the minimum number is log primary, which is 10, right? Plus, I think it is maintaining eight, eight, uh, eight log files in my case, or it might differ also that I am not very really sure. But, um, but what I'm, I'm hearing from the experts is like, it, it should be log primary plus eight number of log files. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm hearing from the experts. But, um, so that that's the idea that's the tip i wanted to give so in worst case scenario if you if you have a transaction which is taking up a huge uh, uh, transactional log space it need not come from the active log directory uh, but you need definitely need to have that much space in the archive location otherwise the archival will fail right so uh, so it will try to maintain the log files in the active log space then right so you should have a, a, a pretty good archival uh, mechanism a reliable mechanism for the archival and that archival location should have that much amount of space and how do you control this now in infinite logging i can just go on right so one transaction will be of infinite uh, transactional log space so there should be some limit or way to control so we can do that using num log span or uh, max underscore log dbcfg parameters but that's that's a whole uh, different other thing okay so hope this information or tip was useful to you please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2 luw academy um, thank you for watching this video uh, new users please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2 luw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye